So following a very touching and minute silence, the last derby meeting of the season between these clubs gets underway and it's a welcome back to Tynecastle for Hearts after four consecutive games away from home and they know that fourth place will guarantee them the European spot in the UEFA Cup. Currently they hold that position and Hearts go into this game four points ahead of Hibernian with a better goal difference of plus eight. And from Hibernian's point of view, they just cannot afford defeat if they want to take part in European football next season. And there's one of the great campaigners, Jim Layton, a man with the experience of two World Cups behind them, Mexico 86 and Italia 90, and of course looking forward to the European finals. So David McPherson under early pressure, but he handles it well. Robertson and Tweed topple to the ground, but uh, Les Martram waves play on, trying to let the game flow as much as possible. And uh, here's Keith Wright, and that might have been a difficult one. He certainly did quite well in the circumstances, but uh, that uh, giant figure of uh, Gilles Rousset, uh, never under any real pressure. This is Gary Locke. That's uh, Fulton. And they're by Poynton. Slid off to Robertson. And it was McLaughlin who got in the way of that one. It was nicely teed up there by John Cahoon. Cahoon inside the penalty area, just uh, teeing it up nicely for Robertson. But uh, his shot came off McLaughlin. there by Alan Johnson, superb skills by him, the cross provided, but uh, it's away by Mitchell. Again, it's Johnson. Robertson gives chase, and that one is safely behind. Watched by Graham Mitchell for the goal kick. Well, that was a tremendous piece of skill there by Alan Johnson, who's enjoying such a Fine season, just turned 22 years of age. Lovely touch by him. This is Dow. He's also looking in the mood for Hibernian. Oh, McPherson, all kinds of difficulty there, and it's uh, Rousset to the rescue as Gareth Evans come in. A bit of a wobble there by David McPherson. Seemed to have the situation under control, then completely lost it. And uh, Rousset was there. Jackson crossfield to Mitchell. This is Dow. Needs some help here. Maybe not. Gets in a decent cross. And here's McGinley. And it's pointing her clears. Well, Dow did ever so well. He had no real support on that left hand side, but he managed to swing in the cross. And it almost got onto the head of Keith Wright. He was running in and goal. And uh, Jim Jeffries uh, making his point known. Chance for Hearts to get forward, but uh, Robertson quickly closed down by Mitchell, but the ball's promptly given away to John Cahoon. He tries to get around McLaughlin. He does ever so well. This could be a great goal. And Jim Layton denies John Cahoon what would have been a marvellous goal. That was tremendous play by John Cahoon. The odds were stacked against him. He got away first of all from McLaughlin, ran round the defender. Great close control here away from Tweed and then Jim Layton. Well, Layton maybe just a bit of the lucky side, but uh, he made the interception and John Cahoon is left to ponder. That would have been a great goal. Pressure still on, the goalkeeper commits himself, that's a good catch by Jim Layton. Well, Layton just come out there and spread himself, hope for the best. And uh, the ball come off his heel and uh, went behind for the corner.
Now it's Andy Dow for Hibernian. Farrell. Mitchell. And Darren Jackson's gone on a good run here. Uh, just failed to get in the end of that one. It was a superb through ball. Long one from Mitchell, and uh, Darren Jackson had gone on a good run. Seemed to have timed it perfectly, but uh, just failed to get in the end of that one. Dow does well, and he also gets the free kick. And that's Mitchell. It's a poor one, though, easily cut out by McManus. And uh, Mitchell's taken a blow to the head as he went into the challenge there with John Cahoon, and the referee stops the game. So Mitchell has uh, taken a cut above the eye, as you can see, the referee immediately stopped the match. And they went into a challenge there with John Cahoon, and uh, Mitchell reacted angrily when he got back to his feet. And uh, you can see why he's indicating that uh, the Hearts man used an elbow on him. It's, uh, the ball floated through there by McManus, and uh, the elbow certainly caught Mitchell. So happily, and then Mitchell can continue. This is Fulton. Lock. Fulton again. Cahoon, nice little touch by him. This is uh, Bruno following through. This is promising for Harps. It's Poynton. It's Bruno getting a touch, and out comes Leighton. And uh, Leighton not amused uh, by Bruno's challenge. But it was Bruno who uh, set that up there for Poynton to drive in the cross. Bruno was in there again, and uh, Leighton went down to smile the ball. And he followed through in the goalkeeper. That's uh, Farrell on the counter-attack, switch of play by him, out to Lee Miller. It uh, was ever the best of passes, and uh, to put the fullback under pressure. Not seen too much of uh, Miller going forward, and, uh, perhaps because of point in there. Uh, pushing through on the left flank. Uh, going over to the linesman now for a word and uh, certainly Jim Jeffries uh, has been shouting towards the linesman so the message is clear calm down that's a header going in from uh, Keith Wright Another one for uh, double figures this season, does Keith Wright, but uh, no real problem for the goalkeeper there. And the halftime whistle sounds. Well, no doubt about it, the best chance of the first half, uh, created by John Cahoon. He got away, first of all, from McLaughlin, around him, and then away from Tweed, and Jim Layton come out to do just enough to send the ball behind for the goal kick. The halftime score here at Tynecastle is Hearts nil, Hibernian nil. Well, just starting to close up for the night, I guess, and uh, all of a sudden these real bright lights just seem to come out of nowhere. Man, it's moving fast. Hey, Martha! It's on video. Yeah. yeah, he's real smart. Martha was out in the kitchen, and I started hollering. At her. Come here! Come here and look at this! What is that? Lights were so bright. <laughs> then it just came on in there, as close to me as you are right now. Did it have any markings or anything? Like, yeah, this kind of a little symbol, kind of like a W. A, like a V, W. Yeah, like a V. Yeah.
You know what will happen if you sit on this. Ow! You know what will happen if you touch this. But do you know what will happen if you take this? Hernandez, that pile of junk you sold me broke down again. Yeah, it's my problem. It's your car. It's your problem. That car is guaranteed. Oh, wise guy, huh? Well, wise up and read the small print and weep. Listen, we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Either way, you're not going to get your money back. So are you just going to rip me off? You're not the first, and you sure won't be the last. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> that was a commercial break for Hernandez Motors. And this is Ray signing off on Reef Radio. Get your £75,000 scratch card with tomorrow's evening times. Top prize £10,000 plus bonus holiday prizes. Be a winner with tomorrow's evening times. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. And send him on his way. Get the picture? I'm gonna wave that man right out of my arms. I'm gonna wave that man right out of my arms. I'm gonna wave that man right out of my arms. And send him on his way. Don't try to back it up. Wash him up, dry him up. Cancel him and let him go. I went and washed that man right out of my head. I went and washed that man. Charge forward. Well, there's certainly been uh, goals in the previous three meetings between the clubs, ten in total. We still await one this afternoon, but uh, there was plenty of action in that first half. And uh, there's no doubt that uh, Hibs had the upper hand uh, last season and they won three of the four league meetings against Hearts, and that came after an amazing run of 20 games without a victory against the rivals. From a scoring point of view, Hearts have failed to score in just one of the last 15 games. It's been a problem for Hibs. Uh, just three goals in the last seven matches. That's, that's something that'll be worrying Alec Miller. And it's Robertson who wins it back for Hearts. Now it's Johnson. Being chased all the way by Farrell. Johnson showing a fair bit of pace though. Out now to John Cahoon. Robertson's in the middle. Poynton's on the far side. Here's Poynton. The ball's deflected. And behind for the corner, well, Poynton had space, and he's also taken a knock there. It's a great play by Johnson, through to Cahoon. Johnson had uh, created the opening there, the cross come in, and uh, Poynton was caught as he made the head up, and he's uh, taken a hefty blow. But it was a uh, great running originally by Alan Johnson, getting away from Farrell, playing it through to Cahoon. Robertson was in the middle, Poynton was uh, running in on the far side, and as uh, he got his head to the ball, he was uh, caught there. And uh, it was Willie Miller who went into the challenge and he simply came down and uh, landed awkwardly. McPherson is uh, under pressure here and struggling. It's Gareth Evans who does well. The cross out to Keith Wright, in comes Farrell. It breaks to Darren Jackson. The chance is on here. And Andy Dow scores in his debut. What a tremendous goal for the new player. Delight among the Hibernian fans. So just 51 minutes gone. Darren Jackson picked up the loose ball. 
And a great finish drilled right through Gilles Rousset by Andy Dow. His first match for Hibernian. And what a debut. And is he happy? Hearts nil, Hibernian won. Another long ball played through, this time it's Keith Wright going for it. Still it's right! Well, so close, and it was a substitute for John Miller, who managed to get that one away from right under the crossbar. Uh, Wright appeared to me to be being held by David McPherson as he ran through. He still managed to get the touch and the ball. And it was John Miller who managed to get it away. So uh, Keith Wright now is uh, leaving the field. This is a real blow for Hibernian. He was hurt in that exchange. And uh, Michael O'Neill is a player who's come on. Certainly a, a quality player to come onto the field. But uh, Hibs will... Uh, Missed the main striker, maybe not. Here's Gareth Evans coming through now. And the referee indicates a goal kick. Gareth Evans is not happy with the decision, claiming that uh, he was pushed there as he ran through in goal. And maybe he's got a bit of a case that uh, Les Mottram had no hesitation in uh, pointing down for a goal kick. But Hearts will really have to get the right together defensively. This is Willie Miller, sending the ball through now, looking for O'Neill. That was a good run by Michael O'Neill. Good running by the midfielder. And uh, Willie Miller just uh, winning that one quite nicely, but uh, the cover was there. And uh, the corner kick is awarded. So it's uh, Darren Jackson. With the corner, and the goalkeeper just stood on his line there, and he could well have been caught. Well, hearts are all over the place defensively at the moment. The goalkeeper absolutely rooted there as the ball was floated in by Jackson, and it just needed a touch by someone. Defence again, absolutely caught. Jim Jeffries with a lot in his mind at the moment. Hearts have lost three of the last 11 games here at Tynecastle. Two of the top clubs, it must be said, to Rangers, Celtic and Aberdeen. And now they're trailing by a goal to nil to Hibernian. And this could be a blow uh, to their UEFA Cup hopes. Certainly a player like uh, John Cahoon doesn't uh, deserve to be in a losing side this afternoon. He's had a quite superb match. But uh, Hibs have battled hard, they've battled well. And now there's a real chance on here. Darren Jackson sending it through to Michael O'Neill. Running through, clearing goal, and Rusi comes out to make a good save. That was a great ball through by Darren Jackson, releasing Michael O'Neill. O'Neill running right through in goal. Rusi coming to meet him and doing just enough. Tucked by Johnson. Again, you can see Dow, who was charging forward a moment ago, back to help uh, provide some cover. And it's uh, Miller who has to clear. It's picked up by Bruno. But it was Tweed who blocked it. You know, some desperate defending by Hibbs, but they do the job. Only Miller there, sending the ball high into the air and out of play. For the throw in, two hearts. So David McPherson starts to move forward to the edge of the penalty area. And I hope that a cross will come in. That's almost caught Leighton. Well, Leighton furious with himself. And they're uh, lucky to get away with that one. And well, it's McPherson battling hard for the ball. Well, you can see how anxious that's hard to get on with again. But Jim Leighton, so fortunate there. There's the ball come back off the crossbar. Caught off his line. Expecting the cross ball, perhaps, and it started dipping in. And Hibs have the throw in. And certainly, the Hearts have still not settled defensively. 
And the goalkeeper at full stretch knocks that one over. Again, an indication that the confidence is not high among those Hearts defenders. Even McPherson going into the challenge there. And uh, Rousset having to touch that one over. And it's Andy Dow playing it through. Looking for Pat McGinley and uh, Darren Jackson. But uh, McManus is there. That's a wise thing. But uh, again, Hibbs tried to push forward. Dow loses out though. It was a good challenge that uh, on Dow by Gary Locke, which uh, gave uh, Hearts possession again. This is Robertson with an awful lot to do. It's clear by Mitchell. And Hearts are pushing. Just about everyone forward. Here's Ritchie. Good run by him. And well taken by Leighton. Great run by Paul Ritchie. Running at the Hibs defence. And uh, getting away there from McLaughlin. And uh, testing Jim Leighton with a shot. This is Evans. Need some support here. who clears, a rather dangerous one right across the face of his own penalty area, Dow sends it back in, the chance is on there for Pat McGinley, and the ball goes behind, and it's a goal kick, well Dow floated in the ball, David McPherson was there, and it was uh, McPherson who got his head to the ball, well the referee looked out towards the linesman, and the linesman indicated a goal kick, Hearts uh, want to make a change, and it's the referee spotted the intention he has now. So uh, Alan Lawrence is the man coming on, and uh, Alan McManus is uh, going off. Uh, Hearts just rearranging things at the back. As uh, Gareth Evans pushes forward. Alex Evans, good play by him. It's O'Neill onto that favourite foot of his, and off the outside of the post. Great effort by Michael O'Neill. Superb play by Gareth Evans. And O'Neill with a shot, just clipping the post in junction with the crossbar. So unlucky. This is Miller, John Miller. Good ball forward now to Alan Lawrence. Really Miller's with him. Still it's Lawrence. Miller blocks him. Now it's uh, John Miller. Little touch there by Cahoon. The chance is on here! And Hearts have equalised! 83 minutes and Gary Mackay, the substitute, puts his side right back in the game. Gary Mackay, who had such a miserable afternoon against Hibs earlier in the season. Little knockdown there by John Cahoon, was meant for Roberts and it broke away to Mackay. And Gary Mackay scores a hugely important goal for Hearts. Hearts won, Hibernian won. Just about five minutes left. Well, can Hearts go on and win it now? They've been pushing Hibs back. Hibs were depending on the counter attack. This is Lawrence, good play by him. That ball is deflected. But the referee indicates uh, a goal kick. So Gary Mackay, the old warhorse, comes up trumps for his manager. But uh, he still doesn't look too happy. And Billy Brown there with uh, Paul Hegarty. A bit of a sideshow going on. Well, the referee's been over already today and uh, he may feel compelled to take some action here. I think it's maybe a final warning. And it's uh, Gary McKay who thumps it away. And it's John Cahoon who gets away from Mitchell. And there's two Hearts players in the middle. John Robertson's on the far side. Claims for a penalty kick there against Mitchell, but the referee isn't interested. But you really feel Cahoon could have done a bit more with that. He had options. This is Locke, they want to hoist another one forward. McPherson's still up there, battling away. And that's behind for the goal kick. 
We've now played three minutes of stoppage time. That's bidding hard there, but the final whistle sounds. A hard-fought battle. And in the end, the result just about right. Gary Mackay there getting the equaliser with just over five minutes to go. A delightful touch by John Cahoon in the direction of Robertson. It was Mackay who came in to slam the ball into the net. And uh, before that, Andy Dow giving Hibbs the lead.